What is going on, y'all? Site Perspectives, GeoFux in the building. Y'all, I got some good news. So I was able to successfully land a new job with a different organization. I'm very thankful, very privileged, very blessed. Because it's difficult out here. I talk about it all the time. Um, I start my new job next Monday, November 6th. I'm very excited about this. It's in the same field industry that I'm currently doing. It's just with another organization. Um, and it's fully remote, as in I get to work from home full time again. I'm so happy and excited about that. You have no idea because I get sick and tired of doing what I'm doing right now driving into work to go sit behind a computer screen all day when I can do that at home. Now, in my experience, I prefer remote and or hybrid work options than having to be at a physical job location 24-7, 365 for various reasons. Number one, you actually are more likely going to have a work-life balance when you work from home or remote or hybrid where when we have to physically be at a location, there's no real work-life balance. You're getting up an hour to two hours before you have to be at work. Then you have to calculate the commuting time to get there. Then you're there. That's exhausting in and of itself. Then you're commuting back home. So an eight hour day quickly turns till about 10 to 12 hours because you getting up early, you gotta put in commute time. You know, it just ends up being a very long day where when you work from home, it's truly an eight hour day. Like, you're not, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to get up super early because you're at home. You don't have to worry about commuting because you're at home. You can save a lot of money as well because you're not wasting it on gas and car maintenance on top of the fact that you're not wasting it on buying food. You know, you, your food pot is the same food pot. It's the groceries, right? Like, I don't have to... Now, granted, I still, like right now, I still bring a lot of my food to work, but that's just it. If I was already working from home, I wouldn't have to do that to begin with. I would just be able to get up from my desk and go in the kitchen and get what I need to eat. But anyways, new job, super excited, same field industry, different organization. Um, it did come with a pay raise. Now, here it is. I've been at my current job for two years. They didn't give me a raise until last month in September. So, uh, September uh, 13th, 12th, 13th is when I got a raise. And it was a 5% raise. So, I went from 40K to 42,000 after two years. With this new job, I got bumped to $49,200. So, without the raise, I got a $9,200 increase in pay. With the raise, I got um, I got a $7,200 $7, raise. So, off rip, I'm, again, showing living proof that a lot of times, if you want to make additional money, you want to get paid better, Unfortunately, you're going to have to more than likely leave your current job and go to a different place, get a different job and work for a different organization, company or business. It's unfortunate, but a lot of times there's no uh, company. Employers don't have loyalty to their employees. That is long gone. A lot of us are still trying to operate out of the work uh, ethic and mentality of baby boomers where you stay at a company for 30, 40 years and you retire with a pension and all that good jazz. That stuff is long gone. So nowadays, literally, I just tell you, within six months to two years, if you don't see any opportunities for growth and mobility, upward mobility, um, promotions, you're not getting paid right, you're not seeing bonuses, you're not seeing raises, you're seeing any discrepancies within six months to two years, it's time to bounce. 
I mean, seriously, because as you can see, that's what it's been. A, I mean, I'll stay at a job for about two years at, at the longest. And then after that, I'm starting to realize I got to leave if I want to make any actual income. Um, not to mention that at, at my new job, we start off with three weeks of paid time off the minute we start working. Meanwhile, at my current job, I've been here for two years and I still have the same shitty ass two weeks of PTO where normally if you work for a, 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 you know, when you work every year that you work, you're supposed to get additional PTO days. So at my previous job before this, which I only stayed there for a minute, um, it was five and a half weeks of PTO, but the pay was garbage. We were only getting $36,000. After taxes, that's like 24K. That's not no money. Um, and then my previous job there, when I was basically there for two years at my other one, we started off with two weeks of PTO. And then every year up into the fifth year, you got an additional five days. So you figure after two years, you have four weeks of PTO. At my current job, you stay with the same whack ass two weeks, no matter how long you've been there. And each pay period, you're only able to accumulate two hours of PTO. Now, how is it fair that you're working 80 hours, but you're only able to accumulate two hours of PTO? No, none of that makes sense. So even in a month's time, that's 160 hours and you only get four hours of PTO out of that? Like, that's what I mean by a lot of these jobs are garbage. Okay, like they are big time garbage. Garbage pail, no room for upward mobility. You're gonna be overworked, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna be frustrated. It's gonna likely be a hot mess and you're not going to like any of that. You know, the entire time, it's just gonna be stressful, tiring, you're gonna be tired. And again, it's gonna be in your best capabilities in your best interest to job hop. I mean, I'm living proof of this. Like, I instantly, I started the interview process September 5th, got the job offer two weeks ago, um, and here I am. Literally got the job offer the day after my birthday, so October 16th. I started the interview process September 5th, and by October 16th, I had the job. So within about five, six weeks time, I was able to secure a better paid position. And not only is it a better paid position, but it's also remote, uh, better benefits, and we have a better in healthcare insurance provider than who, work, than who I'm currently with at my current job. So I have no complaints, baby, on this one. Um... And then too, when you, in my opinion, when you work from home or remotely, it makes it easier for you to have a second job, you know, or get a part-time job because you're already at home. So say you get off this job after being at home and then you, you go to work your other job, you know what I mean? That is outside for four to six hours, break it up or you only do it on the weekends, et cetera, it makes it a lot more easy to do versus when you have to physically be somewhere, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm very excited, blessed, privileged, thankful, and grateful. Um, now, is it a lot of money? Is it a huge pay increase? Not necessarily because once again, I have a master's degree, a bachelor's degree, two associate's degrees, and countless certifications and over 10 years of experience. So yes, I'm thankful and grateful, but at the same time, I should be making well over $50,000 a year. At the low end, I should be making 60K. So I still recognize that this is not enough and I'm more than likely gonna still be applying for jobs because I am really learning. Um, you wanna give a job at least three to six months tops before you just randomly decide to put in a two week notice. <laughs> um, but in this day and age, if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. As long as we're living in a capitalist uh, economic structure and system, you have to look at 
what's going to give you the most bang for your buck, right? So like if I get an opportunity to make 60K somewhere else and it's also remote hybrid, guess who's going to be applying? Me. Okay, because at the end of the day, I have student loans. I have bills and responsibilities. I have dependents. I have my mom, my granny. I have people I have to help and assist and look out for on top of the fact that I have to take care of myself and my two dogs. So in this day and age, we have to look at who's going to be paying us well, where there's going to be opportunity to get raises, promotions, bonuses, actually grow with the organization, business, company, what have you. Um, that's what we have to look at. We can't be looking at it as, oh, well, um, at least here, you know, no, I have bills. Sorry. But with today's bills and responsibilities, can't nobody be doing anything that's going to be lowballing them. And that's just keeping it a buck. But anyways... I just wanted to give everybody that update. I'm super excited about this because, man, I've been at my current job for two years. And let me tell you, outside of my college, like I like my colleagues and my coworkers and the people that I work with. I like the work that I do. I love the work that I do. But at the end of the day, if you're not being compensated correctly, you're not going to like being there after a while because I just feel like we're just coming here for allowance because we're literally being paid poverty pay and then stressing out every damn day because there's no real organization here. It's just people running around, you know, in constant crisis every single day, finding out about uh, reports last minute, people not doing their job and making it harder on the other employees so, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out of here. I'm just going to keep it real. 